Hey guys, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. My name is India and in today's video, I wanna talk about calorie cycling. Number one, what it is. Number two, uh, the benefits of cycling your calories and why I actually do it. And number three, I wanna show you how I cycle my calories. Guys, please be reminded, I am not a medical professional, I am not a dietitian, I am not a fitness guru, so again, be reminded, the purpose of this channel is for me to share my personal experience with weight loss. So if I'm given a quick definition of calorie cycling, it pretty much involves uh, alternate days of low calorie intake with days of no diet restrictions. So when I say no diet restrictions, I'm talking about either eating at maintenance or eating in a slight caloric surplus. I will be sure to leave like the technical definition in my description box along with a lot of resources. Um, today I'll be using WebMD as a resource so please make sure you check out my description box to really uh, get a better idea of what calorie cycling is. So why? Why cycle your calories? You know, Why eat low calories one day and then the next day eat either in the surplus or at maintenance? what benefits are we getting from doing that okay so at this point we all know that you must be in a calorie deficit in order to achieve weight loss right you know that you must eat less than you burn you must take in fewer calories than you would spend if you want to achieve weight loss so just eating a calorie deficit right just reduce your calories and keep reducing your calories until you reach your goal right not quite Here's the problem with being in an extreme calorie deficit over an extended period of time. You will eventually ruin your metabolism. What do I mean by that? Um, if you are a person and just your normal lifestyle, uh, you burn 2000 calories a day. So that's your balance. That's what you take in for weight maintenance. Say you're trying to lose weight for whatever reason. And so you start eating 1500 calories a day. What happens is that if you continue to eat that 1500 calories and you do that consistently and you do it, say maybe a few weeks, a few months, instead of being in a 500 calorie deficit, your body is going to adapt to the 1500 calories you are now eating or taking in. So instead of your body burning 2000 calories, you're only going to be burning 1500 calories. Right, so when you're off this diet and you decide you wanna go back to eating 2000 calories, your metabolism is not going to bounce back. So when you go back to eating those 2000 calories, more than likely you're gonna gain all the weight back that you just lost and some extra weight as well. So what we don't wanna do is be in an extreme calorie deficit over an extended period of time. Our bodies have evolved to protect us from losing weight, to protect us from losing calories and nutrients. Um, in the past, food was scarce, you know. We didn't have a convenience store on every corner. We didn't have fast food on every corner. We didn't have grocery stores. So food was very scarce. So when we lower our calories, our body is, um, going to fight against that right our body feels like it is in danger so it goes into survival mode so now that you're taking in fewer calories your metabolism is going to slow down okay a calorie is a unit of energy if you're giving your body a certain amount of energy it's only going to expend a certain amount of energy right so if you're reducing your calories and you're just reducing them, reducing them, reducing them, your body is going to keep burning less, less, and less. Um, 
it's almost like money. Say I'm a person and for whatever reason, I take a job and I take a pay cut. So if I'm making less money, I'm not gonna keep spending the same amount of money I was spending when I had the higher paid job. If I'm making less money, I'm going to adjust my budget and spend less. And I'm always talking about money. I like numbers, but that's, that's how your body is. It's a balance. Your body balances energy. So the more you um, burn, the more you need to take in. And so with doing that, this is where cycling your calories come into play. And I'm going to show you how I cycle my calories. Again, I'm leaving resources and all kind of information for you guys in my description box. So when I cycle calories, I'm thinking about a weekly average. I'm thinking about the number it takes for me to either maintain weight or lose weight. And I will leave a picture for you here, just of some chicken scratch in my journal so you can see how I break my days down. Now, uh, my goal right now, just on a normal day, is weight maintenance, right? I'm not trying to lose a whole bunch of weight. I'm not trying to gain a whole bunch of weight. I just wanna maintain my current weight. So in order for me to do that, I eat around 1,800 calories a day for weight maintenance. Um, and even with me maintaining my weight, I still want to protect my metabolism. So if something comes up and I need to lose weight for whatever reason, I know I will be able to do that. So with the 1,800 calories that I'm allowed, around 1,800 calories for every day for the week, I break my numbers down, okay? And I do an average, I do a weekly average of my calories. So instead of trying to eat 1,800 calories every day, like perfectly, uh, one day I might eat 1,800 calories, I might eat maintenance. Next day I might eat in a deficit. The day after that, I might again eat in a deficit. The day after that, I might eat in maintenance again. And I just break it down that way. Um, with one of my schedules, uh, and you know, diet is mental, diet is very mental. But with one of my schedules, I do allow myself a very high calorie day. Um, that is on Saturday. Um, and I do that for many reasons. Uh, number one, it helps me mentally. You know, when you're on a weight loss journey, when you're maintaining your weight, it can be mentally exhausting. So having that day to where you're allowed to just relax and kind of kick back and kind of just eat what you want, eat the calories you want, it helps. It helps a lot, especially when you're trying to be perfect every single day, that's not gonna cut it. Um, you will more than likely fall on your tail and just give up on your goals completely. So calorie cycling is really good because it helps you with flexibility. Um, y'all and i'm talking a lot but i'm just gonna leave some information for you on the screen i hope this video helped someone if you have any questions about calorie cycling what i do and again why i do it um please leave me a comment please please leave me a comment i'll respond to whatever comes to my page Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you are into weight loss, food, family, anything, lifestyle, consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the next one.